Hello everyone, uh, this is Abdelaziz Bamanad from uh, Seljuk University, Turkey. Uh, thank you for the opportunity to present my uh, article, NXV International Bank on and Near Eastern Congress Series on Economics, Business and Management. Lebanese Congress Series on Economic, Business and Management, Voldiv, Bulgaria. The article is about impacts of exchange rate on economic growth of China. Authors, uh, Associate Professor Dr. Erdal Ersalan, Assistant Professor Dr. Ali Bora, and uh, Abdelassi Bamanat, which is me. Uh, presentation outlined. Uh, the article is uh, made of uh, different parts, which are introduction, economic overview of China, literature review, exchange rate regimes, and definitions, research method, findings, and conclusion. Introduction. Uh, exchange rate is uh, exchange rate of a currency is uh, the the uh, the power of uh, buying one currency in term of other currency or the price of one currency and the term of other currency. Uh, there are seven exchange rate regimes and uh, every one of them has its own pros and cons. It is not an easy job to find uh, the most suitable and profitable exchange rate system for a country because the economy is highly affected with the exchange rate system. Uh, from different aspects like export, import, and economic growth. Exchange rate is a vital economic factor and economists are interested in the effects of exchange rate on the imports, exports, and economic growth, according to the articles mentioned. Uh, economic overview of China. Actually, the uh, People's Republic of China is the largest economy, largest uh, country, uh, largest ex having largest exchange reserve and largest exporter in the world with uh, 14 uh, billion dollar gross domestic product and uh, 1.4 uh, billion population an unemployment rate is 3.62 percent an inflation rate of 2.9 percent and exchange rate of rmb uh, 6.91 dollar a current account balance of 141 billion USD and trade balance of 165 billion USD, export 2.5 trillion USD, import 2.08 trillion USD for the year 2019. The economy of China has experienced amazing economic growth in the last few decades that has captured the title of the second largest economy in the world. In 1917, with China launched the economic reform program, the country ranked ninth in nominal GDP, and 35 years later, it jumped to second biggest economy in the world. As we can see, the GDP of uh, China from uh, 1982 to 2018, the end of 2018, uh, it has uh, uh, gradually been increasing. Uh, uh, it's increasing so fast. As we can see, the imports and export uh, graph of China, uh, both of them were increasing. Uh, although in 2005 to 2009, it was like in the peak. And after that, it has uh, been decreasing a little bit. But one thing to remember that exports are always uh, higher than imports, as you can see in the graph. Um, as we uh, already saw, the export is increasing, the GDP is increasing, but as we can see right now, the official exchange rate of China is decreasing um, after the year 2000 and uh, 2005, it's decreasing. Uh, this is something interesting. Uh, while uh, other countries, when the economic growth is increasing, uh, it is increasing, and the exports are increasing, the inflow of uh, foreign um, currency made the make the uh, domestic currency uh, to appreciate. But in this case, as we see, 
uh, in China, the exchange rate of the RMB is decreasing or it's very uh, stable uh, in the last years. Uh, so our concern was that, uh, uh, as we can see, uh, the Trump administration or the United States government has always been asking China for uh, appreciation of their currency. Uh, as we can see here, the Trump administration labeled China uh, a currency manipulator after China allowed the value of its currency to fall again. So um, is it really uh, true that uh, China is uh, falling its currency to uh, increase its economic growth or not? So in this article, we are um, investigating that uh, to see whether uh, with the increase of the uh, with the decrease or devaluation of RMB's value, uh, is the uh, China gaining economic growth or not? Uh, literature review, as we can see, there are different literature uh, on this article. Um, um, some are uh, expressing that China need to increase its value per ton. RMB's uh, value uh, to uh, gain economic growth and some are uh, expressing that the, the China government should decrease RMB's um, devaluate uh, RMB's uh, exchange rate to gain economic growth. Thus, uh, a research paper regarding the effect of, effects of uh, appreciation of RMB exchange rate on social and economic factor in 29 provinces of China from 1987 to 2008 has conducted and resulted from this research shows that an increase in the exchange rate of RMB has a negative result over GDP growth and employment in those provinces. Goa 2011. China export increased by uh, 2% in 2005 and 2008. Its current account surplus surpassed 9%. Uh, of GDP in 2008 and 11% of GDP in 2007. Its economic growth is 10% more than every year between 2004 and 2007. Quite a few economists think that China balance of payment is in this equilibrium and China must let RMB exchange rate appreciated. On the other hand, the Chinese government has rejected suggestions for the quicker rise of RMB. Quicker rise of RMB? exchange rate due to unfavorable effects of RMB appreciation on the uh, reduction of labor intensive exports and China uh, will lead to the uh, ruining of industries across China. The, the RMB exchange rate uh, increase will affect negatively on exports and um, export uh, labor intensive export products. Mostly this is the argument of the Chinese government. On the other hand, uh, according to a study by Tang 2008, which have studied impact of China exchange rate and economic growth in China using the CVR, CVAR model resulted in contrast to many other pieces of research that China has not benefited from the, from the exchange rate of RMB and there is no direct relationship between exchange rate and economic growth of China in the long term. Research method. In this article, we aim to find whether uh, the fall, of, uh, fall or rise of RMB's exchange rate impact the economic growth of China uh, or not for the period of 1982 to 2018. And, and analyze data regarding this uh, research uh, are taken from the World Bank data bank development indicators and variables such as GDP per capita income as uh, dependent variable and foreign direct investment export import uh, and exchange rate are uh, considered as uh, independent variables. Augmented degree fuller test uh, ARDL model uh, to regressive distributed lag model test and vector error correction model uh, are applied for finding relationship among these variables. Uh, this is uh, our model, as we can see. 
EG is economic growth, which is GDP per capita income. FDI is foreign direct investment, exchange rate, net, ex, uh, net uh, export minus import, which uh, and the error term, whereas B, B0, B1, B2, B3, B4 are respective parameters. <laughs> this is our um, uh, um, test that we have done and the, the findings out of our test. Uh, augmented TK Fuller uh, unit troop test has conducted, and we chose that our uh, variables are stationary at the level. Uh, I'm sorry, uh, they're stationary at the first difference. VAR lacklink test, result based on VAR uh, order selection criteria two, lag is considered an optimal lag which means uh, second uh, lag is optimal lag for our uh, um, tests. Uh, after that, we have um, performed ARDL bound test. Value of S, uh, as we can see in the uh, result of the test, uh, if statistic value is uh, 10, which is higher than uh, lower bound and higher bound, that means that our Result is uh, statistically significant and robust. We can uh, continue to our ne next test. Uh, we have um, performed the ARDL contributing along the run model test. ARDL contributing equation is uh, below. And uh, as we can see in the result, according to probability value and the uh, uh, the result of the test, it is um, statistically significant, and we can see that uh, there are uh, relationships in long and short run of on uh, short run of um, the uh, result of the test. This is the short run result. In short run, as we can see, the uh, FDI has a positive 1.6 percent uh, impact on GDP. Per capita income exchange rate has negative 1.32 percent effect. Uh, import has negative uh, uh, 0.031 percent effect, and export has positive uh, 0.16 percent uh, effect. Uh, furthermore, uh, histogram normal test is. Uh, I shown that our uh, result is significant because the value of the probability is uh, more than 0 0.5 and the value of uh, uh, this means that our test is significant and robust. Uh, furthermore, histogram test shows that uh, um, our um, analysis or our test has uh, uh, no histoscedasticity. So uh, it means uh, our um, analysis is robust and um, significant. Furthermore, uh, Borosh Goffrey serial correlation element test shows that there is no serial correlation in our uh, in our uh, analysis, and it is robust and normal. Uh, Victor error correction model test it shows uh, finds out our long-term uh, relationship uh, among our variables. As we can see, the value of P probability is uh, less than 0.05%, which is significant and shows that our result is uh, robust. The result uh, is shown here, and it's explained in the next slide. Uh, based on above vector correction model analysis and probability value of less than 5%, the result of uh, for long and the relationship is significant and it is expressed as below. Based on the equation number two, there's a, a long run and meaningful relationship between GDP, exchange rate, foreign direct investment, and export. But imports has no meaningful relationship due to the uh, P value, which is higher than 0.05%. The exchange rate uh, and the GDP per capita income, uh, uh, income have a long run a negative relationship. For instance, a percent increase in RMB exchange rate will lead to 
1.2% uh, negative effect on the GDP per capita income of Chinese people in the long run. Next, uh, foreign direct investment and GDP per capita income have a positive and uh, significant relationship. For example, a percentage increase in foreign direct investment will lead to a 1.4% increase in GDP per capita income. Export and GDP per capita income has a positive and significant relationship. For instance, a percentage uh, increase in export will lead to 0.26% uh, increase in GDP per capita income. Uh, the results of this uh, investigation show that there is a significant and negative relationship between exchange rate and GDP per capita for the year 1982 and to, uh, to 2018. Uh, based on the, our analysis of ARDL and VEC models. Uh, at, at the end, we have uh, uh, conducted impulsive response analysis uh, that shows uh, how the exchange rate will affect uh, in the 10 years, 10 coming years on the economic uh, per capita income of China. Response of GDP per capita income to exchange rate. As per uh, below graph, you can see, uh, it's clear that uh, the response of GDP per capita income to the exchange rate in uh, two starting years negative up to 1.1%, it goes down and later on it has an upward trend. But as a whole, the increase in uh, exchange rate of RMB uh, will impact negatively on GDP per capita income of the China. Uh, in long run. Thanks so much for the opportunity and uh, for your time. Uh, my uh, presentation has uh, come to the end. Uh, it was nice to be part of this conference. Thanks so much.